What's going on everybody on YouTube? This is Very Artistic and today I have a very interesting video. Today I'm going to make two tests, but it's going to be inside the water. The first one, we're going to check the LTE speed inside the water and outside the water. And also I'm going to be running the Geek Benchmark 3 inside the water and outside the water in order to see the results. So without any further ado guys, let's gonna jump into it. Also let me start with the uh, 4G LTE test outside the water and see the actual speed. So give me for download about 29 megabytes per second and upload about 6 megabytes per second and here's the uh, actual result. Uh, let me just try and also like about 29 right now. So let me just go ahead and do the test again just to make sure that is reliable and give me all of the same results. Now it's about it's 35 right now about 36 megabytes for download it's kind of a little bit close but actually different uh, different numbers here so let me just go ahead and do it for the third time skip the ads and test again It's about 29 30 mega 31 it's about like let's say take average about 30 uh, megabytes per second as a speed so now we're gonna go ahead and do the same test but it's gonna be this time inside the water so let me just put the water right here and skip this and see if this is going to affect the phone performance or not so I'll just go ahead and click yes and there you go actually I missed the button so let me just go ahead oh so when you take this one out of the water it doesn't work okay let me try again it something happened actually it seems to me that the whole 4G LTE, it did not work at all. There you go. Now it seems to me working. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's about like uh, 5 to like about 6 megabytes per second from average like 30 that is not even that depth is like a couple of inches actually was but well, anyways we're gonna just go ahead and do the test again I'm gonna just go ahead and hit continue in order to see if it's any better just click start As you guys can see, the first is the first time it gave me about uh, f five megabytes. Now it's not even uh, about three megabytes per second. So actually, the antenna inside the water. I mean, if you want to watch videos or you want to use your internet or like chat with somebody or something, you guys are not gonna expect uh, the speed of the 4G LTE will be good. Uh, this is for the second time is about five four to five is average and it's not that deep actually so this is actually uh, the test okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and go to the Geekbench I want to show you I just done it 
I want to just show you the result. Actually, or uh, it's actually it's gone. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the Geek Benchmark outside the uh, water, as you guys can see, and to see if the phone gonna be inside the water is gonna be like any effect is gonna affect the performance of the phone. It would be better maybe because the water is kind of cool a little bit, so cold water. Maybe you know what I mean, like when the phone warm up and the hardware parts inside the phone. Uh, actually, I've never like seen this before. You know, I'm just trying to give you an idea right now about uh, the performance outside. So I have the phone right now, not inside the water. I'm just trying to do the test in order, guys, to show you the result. So, and also we're just gonna also talk about the specification. The the Hydrowave actually is running Snapdragon 410 and one gigabyte of RAM, eight gig for the internal storage. Uh, actually, it's 1.2 quad core processor, which is uh, as an average it should give me for single core uh, 437, and for multiple core it should give me like 14. But I want you guys to see this one before we put the phone inside the water, and we're gonna do the test again in order to see. I mean, we would like to know if this is gonna give us any performance or better performance. Or it's gonna be worse performance actually from the 4G LT you guys have seen that uh, outside it give me about uh, 30 megabytes per second and inside is not more than 5 megabits per second which is very low performance here's the results actually as I told you it's kind of close so we're gonna go ahead and close all the application again I want to just try to kill it and I want to go ahead to the geek benchmark just again, I'm gonna also like put this one and run this one inside the water. So it's gonna run it. And gonna see if this is gonna be any different. I'm just trying to rotate the screen. So the phone now is running the geek pinch again, but this time it's gonna be inside the water. Actually, I've never seen this one like on YouTube that they have done this test inside the water so I'm very excited actually to know if it's gonna be like actually better performance or worse performance I'm not quite sure but I feel that should be better performance because the phone now it's uh, with cold water actually it's within the room temperature actually is not too cold uh, but very interesting so we'll see the performance would be a little bit better or not the single core was uh, 480 I guess so we'll see if that's gonna go over or is it gonna be equal or worst or lower than the score that we just got and I'm sorry for that video just make it uh, too long but we actually would like to to make that test and we want to be uh, reliable as well so I we don't want to like do the test for one time and then we want to make sure that we get uh, the right result what's about to done actually it's gonna be in any moment it should pop up the result there you go you guys have it kind of a little bit uh, lower but for me because every time you run the geek benchmark they give you different uh, numbers but it's close so actually to run the phone or like even if you want to play a game or run the geek bench is not gonna like reduce the performance of the phone which is uh, kind of great but anything uh, LTE I believe even the Wi-Fi is gonna is not gonna be good as it should be but that was very much it guys for that video uh, I wish you guys enjoyed that video and also you can subscribe for more videos like that and also I don't really recommend you guys to do these tests uh, if you want to do it just go ahead and do it. it's gonna be under your responsibility as well and uh, subscribe for more because I'm going to make another extreme test uh, with this uh, phone actually to see how far that phone can go so 
make sure to subscribe and if you enjoy also like give me that thumbs up or give me that thumbs down uh, if you didn't like the phone and thank you so much for watching again and as always guys I will catch you in the next one